in there. I don't know. I tell you, if you were to go to a bar, I'd probably go to uh, the Guinness factory. You know, to learn about that. That's that's the, the, the Guinness brewery is in, in, in Dublin city centre. So that's that's a good place to go and visit. Me personally, I like Grafton Street. I like around the whole area. It's a really nice. Uh, Police cop out uh, outfit. Pulled me in, I was like, I'm gonna get a ticket or I'm gonna get brought to court or something fine. He comes up to the window and looks at me. Uh, have you got a driver's license? I says, yeah. Showed him the driver's license. He looked at the driver's license, looked at me and said, um, do you mind if I jump in the passenger seat for a selfie? <laughs> All right then. Jumps in the passenger, takes a selfie. Thanks very much, see you later. Off I went at 200, 200 <laughs> miles per hour. <laughs> Like Batman. <laughs> We're less than two weeks away from UFC 189. Um, Jose Aldo is, is your opponent for that. And I was fascinated by your move in the news conference. I know you guys are always trying to get into the head of your opponent. Mm -hmm. in, back in March, for the news conference to promote the fight, you actually snatched his belt. You hope to do that on July 11th. But you, you, you Well, I belt. snatched my belt oh, it was simply taking what was mine he was on my home turf and he tried to lay claim that he was the king of my city but you do not lay claim to the, being the king of my city while the king of the city is around so <laughs> the king of the city rose up and snatched what was his which was the gold belt and raised it before my crowd my yes, passionate crowd it was so you took it back exactly i took it back and raised it for my people it was a it was a beautiful moment in that it was a teaser almost for what July 11 will be where I where I raise it for real in, in beautiful Las Vegas City in front of my home crowd. Why are you so confident that you will do that? Um, I don't know. I'm in a business where you must be confident. If, we're, we're, if you have any doubts, they will, they will come back and play against you. So I am supremely confident. And as well, I feel I'm confident in my work ethic, my, my approach to the game, my non-stop effort to get better as a martial artist. I don't feel that nobody else in the game is doing what I'm doing or is moving the way I am moving. Where's that come from, Connor? It just comes from years and years of practice on the mat, you know. I have, I have had many fights inside the octagon, outside the octagon, in rings, on mats. I, I am an experienced veteran in the fight game and through, through that and through a belief in my team and my ability, I have just gained a bulletproof confidence that cannot be stopped. Are you big on predictions? Do you usually make predictions before fights? And if so, I how always, will it end on the 11th? I always make accurate predictions. I've predicted many contests. I've predicted my entire career. And, you know, I predict the future. So for me, I have already predicted this contest. I predict four minutes of the first round, he will be KO'd. First round? Wow. Yes, I feel that the, the power matched with the precision, he will not be able to take it. So four minutes. First round, he will, be, he will be done. Coming off of an explosive press conference here in Torrance, California, here with Conor McGregor. And Conor, a lot of people have sat in that seat that Nate Diaz sat in today. How do you think he handled it? You've said that people have shrank when they've been put in that McGregor bubble. How did Diaz respond to it? The same. The same. And, and he can't, you know, I felt he shrank as well. You know, he, he maybe put it up a little bit better than many, but I still feel he shrank. He kept looking to... Nick, I was almost talking to Nick more than I was talking to Nate, so, but whatever, this, this is nothing. 
The fight is March 5th, 10 days. I'm looking forward to it. And he made a pretty strong accusation ridiculous. towards you. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Not even sure how, how, how yeah. serious we should take it, how serious no, he yeah, meant it. Yeah. What, what no, I don't think he did either. I mean, it, seriously, it's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. The most tested fighter in 2015 I was on the roster, so... I am a very big against steroids. I have lambasted everyone that has been caught for steroids. Previous my opponent, previous opponents have been caught, and I butchered them for everything they were awarded for taking steroids. So, um, and then the fact that his two teammates took steroids and were caught. So, uh, I, I pay no attention to it. It was ridiculous. Can you describe the level of disappointment that there is not another <coughs> belt sitting on the other side of that podium today? Yeah, I mean. Oh, this is what you know. I could I could see the the picture, but again, a bruised foot is it? You don't want to fight with a bruised foot. No way. So it is what it is. What kind of injury would it take to to keep Conor McGregor from from a UFC fight? You know, uh, there there are true injuries. Let's let's get that right. There are true injuries that can that can hamper you, and but I don't know. I've yet to I've yet to find one. You know. I've yet to find one. Answer this question. Conor McGregor fights for the 100 and blank belt first. 45, 55, 70. Give an answer to that. Well, I don't know. They, they, it doesn't matter. Conor McGregor fights, and that's it. That's all, that's all you need to know. That's all I need to know. The fans need to know. And that's all the UFC executives need to know. And that's why they high-five each other every time, and as long as the, the real draw is still on the card. Well, you call yourself Mystic Mac. You've already given a prediction, first round knockout. But you go further than predictions. You describe the exact sequences that lead to them. Yeah. So what is going to happen on March 5th with Nate Diaz? He's a, he, he's a hit and pull fighter. He hits, pulls, hits, pulls, and then plods as well. Um, I, just think, I, I just think he's too predictable in, in everything he does. He's in a set pattern, and he... He neglects other disciplines and it's hampered them. It's hampered the Diaz brothers program. You know, not that I didn't want to go nowhere, but I just was like, it was always, it's an event to go somewhere. I can't just go somewhere and do something. And now I don't give it. Now I'm, now I am going play. You know what I mean? Like when I was in LA and when I was in Vegas and we were planning on coming back and saying, right, this is going to be insane coming back. I need to, I need to figure out. <clears throat> How I'm gonna come back, and then I'm thinking, oh, it's gonna be too heavy. I can't come in here and train fight camp, and it's just gonna be too like a, like like I'm in a fishbowl or something. Then I came back, and I was like, I love this place. This is my home. When I walk into the gym, there's a lot of kids, a lot of things I have to sign, and people ask me to sign, and take pictures, but that's okay. That's I help build that gym. I help build that that place to what it is. That is my home. I feel comfortable in there, no matter what. Like people will be sitting there videoing me or. I, I see that sometimes, I'm just sitting there and eating food, and I see a guy holding a camera like that, trying not to make eye contact with me, but he's videoing me eating food. And, I, and before, I'd be like, I can't, that freaks me out, but now I'm cool with it. it it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's okay. It's, it's Are they a all good positives? Problem. Is they all yeah, positives, it's, really? It's, yeah, it is all. I mean, not everyone's positive. Not everyone's, you know what I mean? Not everyone's happy to see a man succeed, as, 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 as wrong as that is, but not everyone is happy to see another man succeed. So that maybe was in my head a little bit too much, and I kind of let that play into me a little bit. But now I just, I put my feet up and I relax. I have a good team of people. I have a good setup. I feel free to go anywhere with no hesitation. Before I'd be like, all right, I want to go into town. I'd be like, I can't, you know what I mean? It's a bit too, uh, am I ready to be, some people just drag out you and just, you know what I mean? Then that's a little bit heavy, but I, uh, it's not too bad. People are understanding. Most are fans, you know what I mean? That's a great thing to walk, down the street and see a little kid and he's a fan and he's shaking and the other day we were in Nando's eating food and there was a girl sitting right there and I just turned around she's bawling crying like literally in tears crying like I was like I was something from uh, One Direction or something <laughs> so it's good it's, it's, a good it's a good feeling you know what I mean so I, I I tell myself it's a good feeling and it is a good feeling Jose Aldo. Do you have any feeling that he may not turn up on the night? I don't think he'll be there. I just don't think he'll be there. He didn't show up the last time. We'll see.
Have you just got a hunch, a, a, a feeling that he just doesn't want to face you? Yeah. Is it based on history? He's pulled out of five... History, eye contact, words, mind frame, even his gym, his training approach. I just don't...